say <gasps> Avery Hi I used to be mean with Grayson Excuse you or just Miss Porter I was just born uh, and I'm Grayson I used to be mean You want on there? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Got it situated. Avery's in her swing. Porter yeah, and Grayson are now over here. Yes, here in the back. I am solo at the park with all three kiddos. We walked here. I pushed Avery in the stroller. And, and, and Gray the rode the bike. Porter rode the scooter. And 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 I rode my bike. Now the bell of the church is just. Ding dong, ding yes, dong. we live very close to a church, so we always hear the church bells ringing. It's pretty sound. Anthony is out running with my brother and brother-in-law, so I didn't want to stay cooped up in the house. We decided to come to the park. It's 61, so it's not warm, but it's not cold. And we've got the whole park to ourselves. <laughs> so we're just going to hang out here for a little bit. Uh, uh, this might be one of the very few times that I've ever taken the kids out by myself to the park. So. Ding, 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 I definitely ding, like ding, it better ding, ding. when Anthony is here, but for an hour I think I can handle it just myself. And Avery, she used to not be not sure about the swing. She seems to be liking it today. <gasps> Avery! Oh, Porter, you need a push. Ready? <laughs> 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 I said that you are Bowser. I'm Bowser. Bowser. Where's Princess Peach? Bowser, what are you doing here? I'm going to... I stole all the stars. Wahaha. Hi. Wait, what? Hi. Why? Wait, what? <laughs> Why? Why, Bowser? Porter, say hi. Hi. What are you doing? I like to show Bowser. Porter is watching the movie Hercules. He is addicted to this movie. Never would have thought that this movie would be so addicting, but Porter absolutely loves it. He watched it yesterday with dad. He watched it the last week. I mean, he watches it all the time. You like it? Good morning, you guys. I actually tried filming this video yesterday and the kids, mostly Avery, were so loud and distracting that I just had to end up deleting that footage and I'm gonna try again this morning. Sorry, there's like some noise going on in the background. I'm doing laundry right now, but I feel like I just need to catch you guys up on what's going on in my life because this like past week has just been crazy crazy busy crazy wild i've taken clips here and there so i'll like input them at different parts but just wanted to catch you guys up on what's going on so i guess we'll go back to like last wednesday i really don't remember the last time i vlogged so sorry about that last wednesday so now that i'm 30 i'm actually almost 31 <laughs> but now that i'm 30 i'm starting to like care about like my health and well-being a little more and I've kind of talked about this on other vlogs like I'm trying to do like intermittent fasting kind of here and there like stopping eating at 6 p.m. and then not eating again until 10 p.m. I don't always do so great with that but trying to do that um, I've started to like take care of my face which I'm still learning about that and like doing a moisturizer and a cleanser like I used to do none of that so starting to dabble a little bit there and then my next um, goal was to take care of my teeth if you know me you know I hate the dentist absolutely hate it I don't have any horror stories I just I've grown up not liking the dentist. The dentist isn't like how it is for kids today. Like my kids beg me to go to the dent to take them to the dentist because they've got movies that you can watch and they give you a million like treats and prizes and uh, sugar-free lollipops and like all that good stuff. Like they love the dentist. That wasn't like that when I was a kid. It was like adult 
dentist for kids. Like you didn't get all the fun stuff. I can't believe I'm admitting this on YouTube. I have not been to the dentist in like over two years. Like it's just not a priority to me. I hate going. I don't know what it is, but for me, like the mouth and teeth, I just can't handle it. Like I don't even like brushing my kids teeth. I can't watch other people brush teeth like in movies or videos. Like I just, I can't do it. I don't know what it is. So I hate teeth. I hate the mouth. I could never be a hygienist or a dentist or anything like that. So anyway, I haven't gone in a very long time. And uh, with me turning 30 and just wanting to take care of myself, I was like, you know what? It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go see a dentist and make sure I don't have like any lingering cavities or any dental work that needs to be happened. Unfortunately, I do not have the best of teeth. My whole life, I've had cavities and fillings and lots of work done to my teeth. My dad doesn't have the best of teeth and therefore I have gotten it. Anthony has awesome teeth. I think to this day, he's 31. I think he's never had a cavity. I'm so jealous of him. Unfortunately, it sounds like Grayson has my teeth because he already has his second cavity. We're gonna go get that filled in a couple weeks. Actually, they're putting a crown on him. I decided it was time to go see the dentist. So last Wednesday, my mom came over, babysat the kids, and I went to the dentist. I found this place, it was like five minutes away. They were super, super nice there. They had really good reviews on Facebook. So I went, got the cleaning, I hated it. It took like two hours, they were so slow, but they were super nice there and got that done. Well, while I was there, they told me, yeah, you've got the old fillings that have a cavity that's coming behind them. It happens, it just is what it is. And they were like, unfortunately, like how the tooth is looking, they said that I'm gonna need a crown. So not only is Grayson getting a crown, but I'm getting a crown. And I have never gotten a crown before. I've never gotten a root canal, I've never gotten a crown. So I'm pretty nervous about it. I'm going in a couple days to go and get that done. I guess it's a whole process. The first, you have to go two different times. The first one is 90 minutes and they like fit you with a temporary crown while they go and make like the permanent one. And then you have to go back in three weeks later to get the real crown put on. So I'm not looking forward to it, but it'll help my teeth it'll help my teeth i was worried it was going to be worse i thought i was going to have to go back multiple times i've had that in the past where like i had to go back two or three times just to get all the cavities done on my teeth so only having one thing done that's not too bad but a crown sounds painful i've heard from other people that it's not fun that it's painful and it's very expensive it's like 700 dollars, and that's after insurance so i'm not looking forward to that but anyway Went to the dentist, got that done. I didn't take any videos, so sorry about that. Then the next day on Thursday, we actually had Porter's art show at his little preschool. They do this every year. We went last year for Grayson, so we went this year for Porter. I took one picture, so I'll input that here. And next to one of his artwork, basically all the classes do artwork and then they hang it all around the school and it's just an open house. So you can come and go and see like artwork that your kid has done. And mostly my kids love it because it's just like us focusing on them and like saying like, wow, you're so, that's so amazing. We love it. And like, they love the, um, the extra attention. So we went and saw his artwork and he was super proud of it. And it was a really good time. It was so fun. The whole family went. Then after that, I had to race Grayson because he had soccer practice. We are in the midst of baseball and soccer practice. Have not started baseball games yet, but we do have soccer games every Saturday. So that is keeping us very busy. We actually had soccer and baseball practice at the same time on Thursday and had to pick one or the other. Not ideal. But... Yeah, so we went, Grayson did soccer. I don't think I took any videos of that or pictures. It was just a regular practice. Then the next day on Friday, I actually went down to Cincinnati with my mom and my sisters and my grandma and my sister-in-laws because we went wedding dress shopping for my sister, Kelly. She's getting married in October and we are less than six months away from that wedding. She got engaged in February and they wanna fast track it. So they are getting married in October. So we had to find a dress because most dresses, most wedding dresses, if you don't know, 
take about five to seven months to come in, just to come in, not even have alterations done on top of that. So we were like, we gotta find something now. So we went to like four or five shops. We went wedding dress shopping from 11 a.m. on Friday to 6 p.m. Constant wedding dress shopping. I didn't take any videos because we want it to be a surprise on the wedding day, obviously, but I do have a couple pictures. Um, we were toasting with some champagne toast at some of the um, stores and just having a really good time so it was super fun my sister tried on so many dresses we actually went back to the wedding dress shop that I got my wedding dress at and we went back to the shop that my sister Allison got her dress at so it was super fun to like relive like wedding dress memories it's much better to just sit there and watch and not have to do all the work of like putting on and off the dress and having to make the ultimate decision of what dress you want so we went spent a whole day doing that um, and then it slept overnight in Cincinnati. Anthony stayed home and watched all three kids. He was a trooper. And then the next day on Saturday, we went back, went and dress shopping, and it was kind of between like two different dresses or three different dresses. And then ultimately my sister said yes to the dress and picked her wedding dress. So obviously I'm not gonna post a picture of that here, but there is a picture. We got it at a store called Carrie Caribou or Caribou. So we did take a picture of that, but it was a super fun time. It was really hard for my sister to make a decision, but she, the dress she picked is super, super pretty. I'm not gonna give any details, but super awesome. So we were very excited about that, but then we had a race back to Columbus, back to home, because Grayson had a soccer game and Anthony was taking all three kids to it and I felt so bad for him. So I raced there, I was like 10 minutes late to Grayson's soccer game. We did all that, it was like, crazy busy Saturday we did the soccer game and then came back home and it was like really cold this past weekend has been super cold even though it's the end of April it does not feel like spring right now unfortunately so we were just kind of staying inside and then Anthony got invited to go do golf and since I was gone like Friday Saturday I told him to go and enjoy himself even though it was cold outside he wanted to go and do golf it was like his first time golfing of the season so he went and we were just like hanging out. I was gonna do bath for the kids, not doing, you know, just taking it easy for the rest of the day. And then for some reason, my second born Porter, he's in a phase right now where if he gets any bit of wetness on his clothes, he freaks out and has to take off his clothes and put new ones on. Like he'll be washing his hands at the sink and if his sleeves get a little bit wet from the water, immediately has to change shirts. I don't know, it's just like a funny quirk he's in right now. So that happened on Saturday evening. It was like 5.30 or so. And he took his shirt off and when I was looking at him, put on his new shirt I realized that he had like a red rash all over his body which um, if you know my kids like they do not get rashes hardly ever get diaper rashes so that really made me like stop in my tracks now Porter has been sick all of my kids have kind of been sick not really Grayson but Porter and Avery have been sick um, but I just chucked it up to a cold like not a big deal Porter has been like napping during the day which is not like him usually he does not nap at all so that kind of was like mm, that's kind of weird but again really didn't think much of it but then when I saw this red rash I was like I feel like something's up. So I'm like Googling things, like what could this be? And the things that came up as possibility was a rash from strep throat called scarlet fever, or it could just be like a rash that comes on from the common cold. I was kind of freaking out about it because I was like, I just feel like a rash probably isn't that good. So I'm like texting Anthony as he's trying to golf, like, have you been noticing this rash? Like I've been out of town. And he was like, no, I haven't noticed anything. Anthony was like, oh, it's probably just like irritation from his shirt. I was like, no, I haven't changed detergents. Something seems off. Then I started texting like my mom, like, hey, I'm wondering if this might be strep throat, scarlet fever. Like, do you have, like you've had kids, like, do you think this could be it? So I'm like taking pictures of Porter sending it to my mom and she was like yeah it could be or it could be nothing and i was like okay i'm kind of debating about taking porter to urgent care but of course i was home alone with all three kids and anthony was out golfing and who knows how long he was going to be gone for like he had just left or i think he was on like the third hole or something he was like just started golfing 
So I was texting my mom, like, maybe I'll just take all three kids to urgent care. That kind of sounds crazy. But I felt like I didn't have a lot of time because by this time it was like 5.36 and the urgent care near us was only open until 8 p.m. And I did not want to like wait till after that and have to do emergency room and all that because that is expensive. But thankfully, my mom and dad were actually not far away. They were at their new house. They're renovating a house right now and it's very close to us. So they ended up dropping everything. <laughs> crazy and coming to my house and watching the kids and even when they got to the house I was still debating it like maybe I shouldn't go maybe I should and my parents were like it could be nothing or it could be something and so I was just like oh I don't want to go and like spend money and then it turns out to be nothing but then I'll always be wondering if I don't go like maybe it is something so ultimately I just decided you know what I'm just gonna go so I left Avery and Grayson at home with my parents and I took Porter. Of course, my kids were begging to go. Porter was like, I wanna go, I wanna go. Grayson was like, oh, I think I'm feeling sick. Cough, cough, I think I should go too. I was like, no, you're not sick, Grayson. Like they want to go to the doctor, they're crazy. So it took Porter, thankfully, like I said, there's an urgent care five minutes away from us. It's a nationwide children's one, so it's like special specialty for kids and lucky for us i don't know how this is the case maybe it's because of the saturday night people are busy but there was no wait usually at this at i feel like at any urgent care the wait is at least like an hour at a time it was dead it was so crazy so we went there i've actually never taken my kids to an urgent care they've gone a couple times but like anthony has taken them or my mom took them one time when anthony and i were out of town but i've never taken them myself so this was like a whole new experience for me but we went and got checked in and then we saw the nurse and I kind of explained what was happening, that Porter had been sick for a couple days and he's been lethargic, but I didn't really think too much of it. And then how he has this red rash and he says that it's itchy. And so they were like, well, they said usually strep throat rash is not itchy, but they said in recent times, strep throat has been changing and evolving and what used to be classified as strep throat the symptoms have changed and so it's almost like anything could be strep throat like it's just not textbook anymore so they asked me if I would be okay with them swabbing Porter and taking a test and I said yes because ultimately I thought that's what it was I thought he had strep throat we have never had experience with strep throat before but just based on Google which isn't much I was just like I think I think he has scarlet fever and I think it's strep throat so they swabbed Porter. He actually did really great with it. He didn't cry. Um, he coughed a little and gagged because like they're swabbing all the way back in your throat. It's not a fun test, um, but they gave him stickers. I actually took a quick video of us like waiting in the room to get the results. So I'll input that here. What do you think, Port? Do you get stickers? Where are the other stickers? They're in my pocket. What? <laughs> He's got four stickers. We waited forever to get the results back. I think that's just how it is at Urgent Care. Um, and then finally they came in and told us that he did test positive for strep. So it was good I went in, it was good. I was right on my assumptions. He did have strep throat. It was so crazy. Um, so of course I immediately felt bad. Like how long has he been dealing with this strep throat? He's been sick since like Tuesday. I took him to urgent care on Saturday. Uh, I felt so bad, um, but thankfully strep throat is curable it's not like a cold where it's like well you just gotta wait it out once you get on antibiotics within 12 to 24 hours then you're not contagious anymore and um, the antibiotics work pretty fast and then you're feeling good within a few days so they prescribed us amoxicillin so porter's on antibiotics right now he has to take it for 10 days the bad part about a strap throat it is it is very contagious very contagious so Grayson is not sick, has not been sick, so he seems to be okay. They, Google says that strep throat is most common between the ages of 5 and 15. Of course, my 3-year-old gets it. 
Avery has been sick. So it's a possibility that maybe she has it or just has a cold. It seems like Porter has strep throat and a cold, but I've been Googling it and it says strep throat is extremely rare for kids under the age of three. And Avery just turned one. So maybe she just has a cold and not strep throat. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep watching her. But it was just crazy that I had a hunch. We went, got it tested and it was, confirmed he has strep throat so there was only like one pharmacy that was open until 9 p.m because this was about seven o'clock at this point so i like raced over the pharmacy got him on got his antibiotics i also prescribed like some itching stuff but he hasn't really been itching it's just been his throat started him on antibiotics saturday night and yeah it was just like a whirlwind of crazy stuff and anthony felt so bad for not leaving golf but he had already paid money i was like I was just thankful that my parents were able to come and watch the kids so I didn't have to take all three to the urgent care. But yeah, so that was crazy. Not looking forward to the bill when that comes. Thankfully, his medication was like $4. <laughs> so it wasn't very expensive for antibiotics. But poor guy. So he's just been kind of taking it easy. Um, and then the next day on Sunday, we had my nephew's baptism. Um, my brother and sister-in-law baptized him in the Lutheran church. So I've baptized all my kids in the catholic church as long with my sister allison catholic but my sister-in-law ellie is lutheran so they're doing the lutheran church which is very similar to the catholic church actually anthony is lutheran here well he grew up lutheran so we went to that we were going to go as a whole family but just out of precaution i didn't want to like in fact anybody the nurse practitioner said that he would not be contagious after 12 hours of antibiotics and that 12 hours expired at like 7 a.m 8 a.m on the day of, on sunday but um my sister is telling me that at school they make kids wait 24 hours just to be safe so we just kept porter at home and so my husband anthony stayed at home with him and which was a bummer because we were all looking forward to going but didn't work out and Avery actually ended up napping during the church ceremony so I just kept her at home so I only took Grayson to the ceremony but we did take a big group picture so I'll input that here I didn't take like any videos because it was church that just seemed weird to me but it was a great ceremony he got baptized it was cool going to a different church that wasn't like a normal Catholic church because that's what we're used to going to i don't even believe i've ever been to a lutheran church service so that was interesting they have a lot of similarities to catholics but then also some differences so that was cool and then afterwards we went to a party at my brother and sister-in-law's house um, where they just had like lunch orders and snacks and cookies so i ended up picking up avery and taking grayson and avery to that party and it was just nice to catch up with family and celebrate my nephew and of course porter and anthony stayed home and then after that we came home and then i went back to where i back to the urgent care but this time with avery because we i don't even think i've mentioned this sorry this is like a long explanation video we finally found out that we got approved for a secondary insurance for a genetic testing for avery we've been waiting since january finally in april we found out that we were approved so we have our main health insurance but then we also have an extra health insurance like through the hospital or through like the board of developmental disabilities or something that will help also cover costs for genetic testing once we found out that we got approved for that i then had to take avery to a facility to get her blood drawn so that they could genetic test her blood so that's what i did yesterday i was like might as well just get it done so i went back to the urgent care but this time for the healthy side of things and we got avery's blood drawn so that they can genetic test her and see if she has any thing that pops up um due to her developmental delays it was rough we were there for about an hour i was hoping it would be a lot shorter but they could not find a vein um they were drawing it from her the crux of her elbow like usually like usual but they said she was very dehydrated which i didn't think she was but they could not find a vein and they kept like doing the band and the tourniquet thing on one arm then they do the other arm then the other arm then there they had to lay down sit up lay down and then I uh, finally I was holding her and kind of squeezing her a little and then they were able to um 
get find a vein and of course avery did not like it when they poked her and drew the blood but it had to be done it's over now we don't have to go back hopefully that's the last blood draw we have to do for her the last genetic testing we'll see if this genetic testing gives us any answers they did say it would be about a month or two before we even hear back about any of the results so i'll keep you guys updated if we learn anything but yeah so it's just been a crazy past couple of days very very busy i don't think i took a video of avery at the blood draw it was just i was too busy holding her so anyway that is everything that's been going on and this week and weekend is very boring compared to last week because it just felt like there was something every day this week is very boring we have school as normal gray has baseball and soccer practices we have nothing this upcoming weekend it's supposed to slowly get a little bit warmer so we're hoping to go outside a little bit more but yeah that's about it maybe i'll vlog a couple of uh, clips here or there of the day but this video is already like super long i'm sure so anyway just wanted to catch you up on how life has been um thankfully it's gonna slow down a little bit but then we're heading towards the end of the year we've got about a month left of school and so things always seem to pick up towards the end of the school year so i will definitely um keep vlogging as interesting things happen but just wanted to give you an update on life lately